Okay. I went, I went clear all. Clear memory didn't do it. So if I did clear all, it's gone. So, did clear memory work for you? Cool. There you go. Just pressing on like Yeah, okay. So now I'm going to punch in this, um, this next set of scores. So let's do that. Um, you remember you press equals to go from one score to the next. So 0, 0, 24, 24. Get out of there. Shift 1 to look at all my different options. And I'm going to go... Fourth variable, and I'm going to punch three for standard deviation. Okay. You've still got zero? Maybe you haven't actually cleared out. Have you cleared out all of your data? Can I have a look? Oh my god. Let's do zero. Okay, so uh, this is telling me 12, okay? Now what this means is, think about it, it's actually very precise. On average, how far away are any individuals from the mean? Well, in this case, actually, because the mean is 12, do you notice? Every single one of these people is exactly 12 away from the mean. Does, does that make sense? Like, this guy is 12 less, this is 12 less, this is 12 more, this is 12 more. Yeah, you with me? Okay. All right, let's do one more for this one. Clear all. Clear all. Every time I clear all, I have to change it back into So do I. So do I. Which is a bit of a pain. How to clear it? How to clear it? I think you go... There actually may be a quicker way than this, but the way that I know this... Um, shift, one, two, three, shift 9 will get you to the clear screen and then from there I think you say 3 4 Okay, did you get that number? Yes Okay Now, shh, 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 shh. think about this because this is a little bit weird What's going on? We've got a nice small set of data here, so we can actually think about what's happening here. Um, the mean is still 12, so in colour. What's the difference, what's the distance rather, from, of each of these scores from the mean? Well, the distance here is 12. The distance here is still 12. This is still 12. How far is he from the mean? 36. Right? Now, what's weird about this is... I said this is the average distance from this. This is like how far is everyone from the mean? But there's actually a little bit of fancier maths that goes into because there's just one of him, he gets weighted a little bit less. So the average a little bit, okay. So but you can see 20.7a is higher than this one. And that should make sense, right? You've got more people who are further from the mean, so your standard deviation tells you these guys are more spread out. Does that make sense? Okay, now, in our sets of data so far, as in many sets of data, there are repeated scores. I mean, this is the, the worst example, okay? So you can actually do something on the calculator to help you with that. Watch again closely. I'll do this, and then I'll write the steps up, okay? If you clear everything out, I believe what you need to do is shift setup. Now, you've got lots of different modes here uh, and different things you can muck about with. Can you see up here in the top right-hand corner, there's a little, a little arrow? Right? You don't see that very often. What it means is there's more options you can't see. If I press down, oh, oh, okay. there's a stat thing. Right Now if I say 3 for stat, it says frequency on or off. Okay. Now at the moment it's off, so if I say 1 for on, nothing looks like it's changed. But now have a look at your data. Shift 1. Okay, so now this looks different. Right? So this is a frequency distribution table now. Um, rather than each individual score, I can say the score 12 comes up four times. Does that make sense? And I can say any number of other scores that I want as well and how many times I want it to come up. Okay, so that's the first one. I could do these other ones as well, two zeros and two twenty-fours, whatever I like. Okay, does that make sense? 
So the first thing you do is um, make sure you're in stat mode first. That's that's the first thing, but you already know how to do that. Once you've done that, go. I'll write this down. Shift setup. So I'll write that down. So this is for frequency. Step one is shift setup. Do you remember where we had to go from this screen? Yeah. I had to press down. Like literally I have to press the, the arrow down. Okay, so that's the second step. So I'm just gonna put it like that, that's the down arrow. Um, here, it's option three for stat. So press three, because that, that says stat. And then once you do that, it's the last step, then you want frequency on, which is one. So press one, um, and frequency will turn on. And then okay. you have to do that to turn it off. Um, yeah, if you reset it, I think it resets to off, which is why you need to know how to turn it on. Yeah. So uh, just check it and you'll find out.